This is level one, brown stripe number eight. Pian Nida. Peaceful mind, second cause. It is really important in this kata that we cover how to transition from stance to stance and learning how to turn hip from stance to stance. Pianidan was used to teach variations of technique, to teach rotational hip, and teaching how to step away from the target. So as usual, we're gonna start from Kyotsuke, or respect, back. Ready position. I'm gonna step back to show the picture for you. I'm gonna announce the kata. Pianidan! In this section, in Hian Gidan, we'll be covering how to trap the hand. It's important to know that this is a very well-timed kata, and sometimes you can miss it. It's important for the opponent to commit into the technique. If you miss this technique, then you can possibly get hit. So when you're doing this section, you want to make sure that you turn your hip for the section of this cup. So, Sensei Casey's here to help me. You get it? Back. We always want to show respect to our partner and appreciation. So, the first opponent's going to throw the jab to my face. One. Now, he's going to throw to my chest. Two. I want to turn my hip into the section so I don't get hit. If I don't turn my hip, he throws a reverse, he can still hit me. So let's try it again, Casey. If I don't turn my hip, he still hits me. If I turn my hip slightly, it's harder for him to hit. So he's gonna throw the jab. One, two, I turn my hip. I trap, I hit him in the face. When you hit somebody in the face, you wanna hit with this section, breaking their nose or you can hit the lip or the temple. So as we're hitting here, hit the temple, go all the way across past the opponent. I'm not gonna do that to Sensei Casey because I want to show the technique. So when I hit, this knee is gonna turn into back stance. You're here. My knee crosses over with his knee as I'm hitting him. Okay, so I'm here, hit him here, one, two. In this section, we will show how to do it full speed. It is important to know that we are professionals and this shouldn't be done just on anybody. You want to make sure that you're practicing it correctly so you don't injure your partners in class. But I will show you how to use, use it in an actual fight. So, fighting stands easily. One, two, three. In one self-defense movement, we're learning how to block the punch and striking to the throat. Steven, one of our students, will be punching Presley to the body. So face each other. Back. Okay. So go and go and fight against Steven. Steven's gonna punch her in the stomach. She's gonna block. You're gonna hit the throat. Go. Okay. One more time. Good. Okay, you get it? 